What is up guys? Welcome back here to the Utah East Dynasty. We're here today. The 8-3 Utes will take on the 8-3 Colorado Buffaloes. And the Utes coming off, you know, a very, very depressing loss. Once again, we knocked ourselves out of the playoff by losing to a team that we definitely shouldn't have lost to. Arizona State took us down last week. And now with three losses, we sit at number 14 in the country. And we're out of the race for the playoff. It's official. As we look at the stands in the Pac-12, it looks like USC's got it locked up. All they have to do is win today against UCLA, and they've got it. But if they happen to lose, the winner of this game would actually go to the Pac-12 championship game because Colorado will also beat USC. So here we go. We're going to get this one underway. Colorado's got it to start. Dotson's going to get this one on a screen. He's going to push it out after picking up nine. Third and one. Absey's back to throw. He throws to his left. He's got a man. It's Carter. Carter gets this one across the 40, and it's a first down. Second and ten now. Abse, he's back to throw. Dumbing this one to Dawson. He's gonna go. Dawson, he's got a lot of space to the right. And then Pew will finally force him out of bounds after picking up 32. First and ten. Abse is gonna keep it himself this time. Goes right up the middle. And he gets it inside the five. Colorado driving easily down the field right now. Abse drops back to throw. Quickly throws this one to Kyle Carter. He's got it. And that's a Colorado touchdown. They drive down the field and, you know, they're up 7 up. As we look at a studio update, number 2 Iowa goes down to number 10 Nebraska. And this one should knock the Hawkeyes out of playoff contention. A big upset there by Nebraska. And if we look, UCLA has taken out USC and Florida State has taken out Florida. So a lot of craziness has just happened in this past rivalry weekend as now we have a shot at the Pac-12 championship. So now here we go with a little bit of motivation to play for. Wesley Johnson catches this one across the 40. It's a first down. Second and six. Anderson's going to get this one to his right. There goes Adrian Anderson going around a block and he's got a few. Let that be 18. Another first down situation. It's a play action. Carroll sits in the pocket, fires one to Brad Golden. It's another first down here for Utah. Second and goal. This one goes to Anderson up the middle. A nice big hole. Great lead blocking up in the front. And we got a touchdown. It is now 7-7. Apsay now back to throw. He's looking for a man. Going deep downfield. He's got Carter again. The big old tight end. He's got 35 over the middle. It's a first down. 7-7 seven is our score. Apsay keeps this one to his right. There he goes. He gave him say McDonald misses a tackle. Terrell gets blocked. Putuatu on his tail, but Apse is into the end zone. That's a 40-yard touchdown for Cade Apse. And Colorado retakes the lead 14-7. So Chris Carroll now is back to throw. He's going to dump on off to his left. It's Wesley Johnson. And he will barely get the first down here. First and 10. Now second and 12. Carroll rolling out. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't. And he will be sacked for a 7-yard loss. Third and 20. Carroll sets, fires over the middle, it's caught by Isaiah Williams who sheds a tackle and then finally taken down. 26 yards from him. First and 10. Carroll, play action, looking over the middle, it's Matt Anderson. Anderson's going to go all the way to the end zone. 58 yards. Chris Carroll to Matt Anderson and the Utes have tied this game at 14. So a very crazy first quarter. Both offenses are clicking. I've said he's going to take this one up the middle. He's got it for a first down. We have really struggled quarterbacks running the ball this season. So here we go. Dawson's going to take it right up the middle. He's going to go for a few. That's second and five. Now third and four. I've said looking to throw. He's going to take off again. There goes Kate up say. And I've say will stumble as he gets to about the 45. That's how we end the first quarter. Both offenses are running down the field, both sides. Defenses can't stop anything. Big plays are happening. It's looking like a shootout here today, folks. There we go, third and three. Epse, he's going to keep this one to his left. There goes Epse, he's going to actually go up the middle, and he's got 12. First and 10. Now second five. Epse keeps it again for himself. we got to stop this man. He gets another first down for 11. Just huge holes for the, right, for the quarterback to run. I'd say he's going to try to take off again, but this time he runs into his own player and ends up falling down. It's now third down. I'd say again. Gives this one off to Dotson. He's going to get hit and then taken down by Everett Lowe in the backfield. They're going to lose four, and they're going to be forced to settle for a field goal, making it 17-14. to And on the opposing kickoff, we got one of the most electric returners in college football, the senior Wesley Johnson. 
He's going to take this one out of the end zone. Wesley, there he goes. Cuts it to the left. A big hole, and his speed will do the rest. Wesley Johnson hit and taken down at the 22-yard line. 83 yards for Johnson. So now here we go. Carroll's going to keep it himself on an option. He's going to get a few, and it will be just three yard shot. So third and three. Carroll looking to throw. Dropping back in the pocket. Firing it, but he gets hit as he throws. And he goes down. So it will be fourth down. And we'll settle for a field goal and tie it up 17. So that's awesome. We'll get this one to his right. He's going to run into a guy, and he's not going to go much further than that. Now third and six. I've say back to throw, and he will just throw it away. So it's a stop here for the U's defense. I think it's the first one for both teams on either side. So Chris Carroll, he's going to go. Goes to his right. It's Rusty Marshall on a screen. Marshall's got a solid pickup. That's a big first down for the Utes. First and 10. Carroll. This one to Adrian Anderson. Anderson goes, and he's got just a few. Now, third down and one. Chris Carroll goes right up the middle. It's Adrian Anderson, and he will be taken down after he picks up three, but it's no first down. Taking off a good amount of clock now as he floats this one up to Wesley Johnson and he's into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Johnson and the Utes really take the lead. It's 24-17. So 120 to go here. Absay back to throw. Firing this one to Miller. He's got it to about the 50. That's 18 yards. Second and two. Absay looking to throw. He's got time. Firing this one in the end zone. Beat Jeff Henry, but he drops the ball in the end zone. We caught a break there. Third and two. Can we get a stop? Absay hit. And he will just barely get the first down. So 45 seconds to go. Absay looking to throw. Running to his right, but Thor Katoa is there chasing him down. And he won't let him get away. 10 seconds to go. Third and 11. Absay tripped. And he falls down at the 45. And they would be forced to punt it away as they would not do anything with the rest of their drive. And we just take a knee. And that's how we hit the half. 24-17. This offense, who has been so inconsistent at times, has finally decided to show up today. And we haven't been doing our usual style. We've been, you know, we're looking like a, a spread offense team where we're just chucking it down the field. Chris Carroll's actually making some pretty good throws today. So now Carroll, he's back to throw looking. He's got Wesley Johnson to his left. And it's an easy first down. First and 10 now. Carroll, this time to Marshall. Marshall goes up the middle, and he's got a first down. Another one. Second and 10. Carroll, back to throw. Running back now. Throwing this one over the middle. Dangerous pass to Raylan Singleton. Catches in all the traffic. Third down for the use. Carroll, back to throw. Throwing and nearly intercepted by Brian Watson. Maybe forced to punt to the Buffs. So I've saved will not take this one up the middle. But he will not go anywhere. Third and 12. Epse looking to throw to screen set up this time for Dotson. Dotson takes it and he will be hit and taken down. And they will only get six and they'll be forced to punt it. Wesley Johnson is back to return for us. Can he give us some good field position? Johnson, he's going to go to his left. He's got a lot of green ahead. Wesley Johnson, there he goes. Johnson to the 20, to the 10, five hurdles. Touchdown, Wesley Johnson. And he takes the punt all the way back. And the Utes, just like that, sway the momentum back in their favor. So 31-17 is our score. Colorado, 13 yards there and a little comeback. Second and three. Epse, he's going to try to take it, and we sniffed it out this time. He's not going anywhere. Third down for Epse in the buffs. Looking to throw. He's going to go, and he's hit off the edge by Jeff Henry. The corner blitz. Comes out of nowhere, and Henry blows him up. So now this time, Carroll trying to force something as Brian Winston picks this one away. Carroll to throw again over the middle, and a great play that time by Evan White, and we'd be forced to play it. So after the punt, this time throwing, and this one is intercepted by Danny Allen. Just like that, we switch the momentum again. <laughs> the backup quarterback came in for Colorado. He threw one completed pass. The second one, an interception. So much for that. So second and seven. Chris Carroll, this time on the play action, throwing this one. He's got Matt Anderson, and he's got it to the 10-yard line. First and goal. Play action this time. Carroll looking to his right. He's going to go to Brad Golden, who falls into the end zone. That's a touchdown, and the Utes have extended their lead to 38-17. What a swing. All of a sudden, we're up by three touchdowns. I didn't even realize it. 
Now Shelton, the backup quarterback, is in the game. He's going to go get someone to Miller. He's got it across the 45-yard line. First down. First down, 10. Shelton, he's going to go, and he gets blown up on the play by Thor Katoa. Not going anywhere. Second and 15. Shelton again trying to take it, but again we sniff it out. And this Colorado option attack isn't working right now. Shelton, now back to throw. He's got Dotson to his left, but there's a lot of youth players around there. And we force them to punt once again. So now here we go. It's Adrian Anderson this time on a carry. He's going to take it for a first down. And the Utes continue to drive down the field. As we hit the end of the third quarter, Utah has taken firm control of this game. 38-17 and with the ball. We're looking pretty good right now. Hopefully we can just extend this lead and end up winning this game. And, uh, you know, we'd be going to the Pac-12 Championship once again. No matter who we play, Stanford or Oregon. So Chris Carroll not looking to throw. He's going to go get this one off to Wesley Johnson. And he gets to the 50. First and 10. Carroll, now play action. Looking to throw. He's going to roll to his left. Now looking. Carroll throws this one. He's got a man. It's Raylan Singleton. And a great little play there by Chris Carroll to extend it with his legs. Second and one. Carroll's going to cue it himself this time. There goes Chris Carroll. And he'll get a few. Exactly five. First and 10, six minutes to go here in the fourth. Carroll, play action, looking, throwing to Golden, he's got it! And Brad Golden stumbles into the end zone. It's another touchdown for Utah as we extend this lead, 45 to 17. Incredible. First and 10 for Shelton, this Colorado offense. Yes, this one to Chavez there for 13, it's a first down. Second and two, Shelton looking to throw. And he's gonna go deep this time. Two Utah defenders right there. And Jeff Henry is right there to break it up. Third and two. This one goes to Dotson on third down. He's got a few blocks. Dotson, he's going to go, and he gets it near the 20-yard line. Second and 14. Shelton, back to throw, looking. He's going to go. Toga hits him. Then he's wrapped up, and then he gets hit by a few more Utah defenders. Give Howard Putua to credit for the sack. Snap Shelton. He's going to throw this one to his left. It's Dotson who catches it, and he reaches for the first down on third and 20 and gets it. First and 10, Shelton gives one back to Dotson. He's been their big player today and a nice cut there to get into the end zone. So Colorado now will try an onside kick. It's their last opportunity, down by 21. But um, Jared McPherson is on it. And that will wrap this game up as the youths will be going again to the conference championship game here in the Pac-12. And once again, we will be facing Oregon. Um... I don't think we've ever not faced Oregon, which is really disappointing. I kind of want to play some different teams, but no one's ever good. I mean, Stanford actually is good for the first time in a while. And actually something interesting in Stanford happened as they will be going to the college football playoff. Interesting, right? I didn't, we didn't play Stanford this season. I had no idea they were any good. So Stanford will be heading to the college football playoff. Which is absolutely, absolutely incredible to me. And we're not even playing them in the conference championship. We're playing Oregon. So that's really depressing. But uh, I kind of wanted to get my shot at Stanford. Maybe ruin their hopes since Arizona State ruined ours. And Cal ruined ours. And, you know, there was a few opportunities there to win some games. But I guess if we get our revenge game against Oregon. As we could try to redeem ourselves and head to the Rose Bowl. As you know, that's not too shabby either. But we did have higher expectations for this season. Not complaining. Just saying. But we do end up blowing this team out. Our offense looked unstoppable today. Chris Carroll, he was slinging that rock. And I don't think he had an interception today. That's absolutely incredible. Good for him. For finally not throwing an interception. It's been, a, it's been a long development for Chris Carroll. But, you know, hopefully next season he can start off stronger and we can, you know, try to bounce back a little bit. But we're heading to the conference championship. Can't complain there. We're playing Oregon. And uh, good shot at the Rose Bowl. So here we go as we look at the standings. USC did lose, and then we beat Colorado, giving us that spot. And then in the north, we got Stanford. They're 10-2, 7-2 in conference, but they did lose to Oregon. So Oregon got the head-to-head. -head. And we look at the playoff. North Carolina, number one in the country at the moment. They'll play Florida State. Stanford, number two. Number three, Oklahoma State. And number four, Florida State. So that's how it sits right now. We're going to go to number 11, Oregon, for this Pac-12 championship game. I'll see you guys in that video. Have a great day. And, of course... Goodbye.